right, it's year two off-season time, and my god, we have a lot of stuff to do, so let's sim to the draft. Last video, we saw that the Florida Panthers were the 2021-2022 Stanley Cup champions, and we are heading in to this draft with a first-round pick, I believe. Uh, so player retirement, let's see who has retired. Louis Erickson, UC Okanen, um, Andrew Ladd, Tyler Bozak, Cody Franz, and didn't know he was still playing. Um, has anyone from the Penguins uh, retired? No goalies? No. Okay, so no one has retired from us, which is good news here. And continue simming to the draft. We have, we're have we going to go through the draft. We're going to go through um, the resign stage and the um, free agency this video. All right, let's enter the NHL entry draft. Uh, where are we picking first overall here? I believe we do have a first overall pick. Uh, so we're picking 22nd, so that's not too, too bad. Um, so let's just sim to our pick, pretty much. I mean, sim to pick 22, and let's see what is available in the first round for us here. So we have elite, medium, offensive defenseman. We had a goalie. Um, we, we did, we did um, scout a lot of goaltenders here, and we got a bunch last year. Um, which is interesting to me. This guy looks really good to me, though. Um, offensive defenseman, scout rank 19. 48 games played. He only had a goal in those 48 games. Um, B, C, B, C, B, D on defense, which isn't the greatest. Uh, he likes to cycle. He likes to pinch. Um, similar style, Larry Murphy. So um, that's pretty cool as Larry Murphy did play for the Pittsburgh Penguins. NHL estimated time of arrivals, four years interesting stuff looking at ty ness here uh 34 games played he had a pretty good uh a decent save percentage um not the greatest rating strengths glove hand angles breakaway weakness stick usage rebound control and blocker hand and show eta five years similar style corey crawford um i think i'm gonna go with uh mika uh oh don't know what i did there we're gonna go with mika kalaitanen um, he's 19, or no, he's not 19. He is 18. He's a, he's an offensive defenseman. Um, he has pretty good ratings here. Strengths, balance, quickness, passing ability, weakness, foot speed, defensive consistency, and puck control. But, like, he can work on that, especially with, uh, time of arrival of four years. I like that he has a similar play style to Larry Murphy. Um, and I don't really see anyone else that I really like here. Maybe this guy's decent. Um, three years for his ETA. Dmitry Korolev, he's 18, 5, 9, he's a left winger, but we do need defensemen, I think I'm going to go with him, and hopefully, uh, I don't know if we have a second round pick, but if this guy's still available, we can pick him up then, but we're going to take Ka, um, Kaletinen, um, and we will sim to our next pick, which is 115, so I have a very good feeling that that player we were looking at is no longer there, but we will see, you know, he is nowhere to be found, so um, I didn't know we had a pick this late. Um, so we got elite guys here. We got a top four defenseman. Uh, 69 games played, 15 goals, 14 assists. He's a two-way defenseman. ETA, five years. Looking at goaltending, like, again, we don't really need goaltending. He did not have a good year at all. This guy looks good. Miguel Turigi, Turigni. Um, strengths, heavy slap shot, mobility, foot speed, weaknesses, offensive consistency, lacks of size, and grit. He is 5'8". So he is a small guy um nhl eta four years so that's not a bad looking guy there um he has some pretty good um stats there um i think we're gonna go with miguel let's go for a make pick make pick there we go we got another pick in the same round i believe here uh we got phil on uh starter uh didn't have the greatest season with an 888 save percentage he has some decent stats here um Five years ETA, Scroder, yikes. Aiden de la Gore, pff, my God, Aiden looks pretty good. A top four uh, defenseman. He's a two-way D. He had a pretty decent year last year. Um, he only has one weakness, which is his offensive consistency, which we're fine with. This might be a little bit of a steal here. We're going to take him and see what he progresses to. Pick 177 here. This is the next round. Thomas Ludstrom looks pretty interesting to me. He had an 856 last year, which isn't great. Um, maybe not, actually. Calvin Fain looks pretty interesting. I know he's a 7th D. We're, we're looking pretty far and above here. He had 17 games played. He's a minus seven in those 17 games, but I, I like 
the 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 stats here of the shooting puck skill sense skating the only bad thing he has is defense which uh he's an offensive defenseman we don't really need another offensive defenseman that's the thing this guy looks pretty decent um not too bad eta's four years we'll take him pinchuk why not pick 208 here we got a lot of a lot of uh picks here setaguchi's still available here and i kind of just want to take him because he's still available he's dropped this low he's a hybrid goaltender 6-1 he ain't the tallest for a goaltender um in 65 games played he had a 903 save percentage which isn't bad um nhl eta is five years i think we're gonna go with setaguchi and see how that works out we have a lot of goaltenders in the system now so we we honestly hope that one of them work out for us um, but we made one, two, three, four, five picks this draft, so not too bad. Hopefully those guys do uh, work out for us. Now it's time to get to the um, to the resign stage, and we have to resign our head coach, is what it looks like. So let's resign our coach. I mean, the players love him. He's at an A overall, so he's got to be good. All right, so we'll worry about the coaching staff. In a bit, we have contracts to sign here pretty much. And this is what we're looking at. Evgeny Malkin is the big contract we do want to sign. And in my opinion, um, I kind of want to bring him back and try to trade him away. So let's see how much he wants. He wants one year at 8.1. That isn't bad, to be honest. Um, I'm fine with signing him on a one-year deal. Um, we'll get him till he's 36. We'll give him 8.2. Let's see if Gino signs back. And uh, we'll see where the team's at. Maybe we keep him for the year. Maybe we trade him away. I think it's smarter to trade him away, try to get... Something for him while he's still of value. Uh, Ricard Raquel would be in an interesting signing to get back. We need to sign Chris Letang, which I would love to bring him back. Let's see if we can get him for two. Mm, let's do one year at six mil. Uh, another aging guy. Uh, maybe try one more year to win it with him. Um, Eric Stahl would be another guy that would be great to bring back. I could do a one year deal at 3.125, no problem. Uh, Brian Rust, another guy I would like to sign. Um, he's 30. He wants three years. Again, this is the guy we can get in free agency. I kind of want to test my luck with free agency this year. Um, so it might be a mistake to get rid of him, but we'll see. Teddy Bluger, any big names out here? Kasperi Kapanen is a guy I would love to bring back. My God, he wants a lot. Five years. We'll have him until he's 30. Um, I think this is a guy we can definitely bring back for that long. Um, and for that dollar amount, like 5.7 isn't bad. Um, let's see if we could do three years at 5.5 flat. Let's see what Cappy thinks about that. Um, Jared McCann is another guy I would love to bring back one year. Uh, 1.925. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, Joseph. Oh, boy. What's this guy going to want? Okay, not much. You know what? I think I'm going to lock him up while I can. Uh, for a steal of a price we'll we'll give him eight years at three mil this guy is our future defenseman uh we'll give him eight years at three mil let's see if he takes that um anyone else that needs contracts that are big name not there goaltending wise um it uh no okay goaltending wise no so let's simulate a day let's see who accepts or declines um oh wow oh okay yeah, okay, whatever. That's a coach. He accepts. Um, coach accepts. Cool. Coach accepts. Cool. So Eric Stahl is coming back. Chris Letang is coming back. Evgeny Malkin is coming back. Jared McCann is coming back. Kasperi Kapanen is coming back. Pierre Oliver Joseph, that is a steal of a contract. He is now signed up long term um, with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So that is absolutely huge to get him for eight years at just, I think, three mil it was. Um, so now. Uh, let's see how much cap we have to work with here and if we want to sign a guy like Ricard Raquel now We could sign a guy like Ricard Raquel or we could let him walk and try to get a superstar in free agency um, I'm kind of fine with letting him walk. He's 29. He wants five years if I wanted to sign him for one year If he accepts for like 5.8 on one year um, That's a steal in my opinion uh, I doubt he'll accept that, but we'll we'll see that. Brian Rust, again, is a guy that I think we can just get back in free agency. He wants three years. I don't want him until he's 33, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. We'll wait on Brian Rust, if anything. Mark Jankowski, um, like contracts like this, those are depth guys that I'm fine bringing back for that cheap. 
Um, we'll get back to Anson's there. Teddy Bluger, how much does he want? That is a lot, in my opinion. I know he's only 27. He's a top nine forward. That's a guy that we can easily replace. I'm going to release him. Uh, Rude Wheel, what is he looking at? Again, a guy that we can easily replace. I'm not going to give a 78 overall. That much money. Uh, Ricola, not a problem. Sam Lafferty. Uh, not a problem again. These are just depth pieces that we're just bringing back onto the team pretty much for very cheap Which I am 100% okay with uh, we could probably wait on Anson's there um, These guys we can probably just qualify those guys not a big deal I'm just seeing if there's any other big names that we need to bring back. We'll give Lindgren a contract uh, I don't think Ooh, Janikowski no we sent okay, so let's simulate another day here advance a day Ricard Raquel is coming back. Okay, so like I said, if we can get him for one year at 5.8, I believe it was, um, that's not bad. So Ricard Raquel is coming back uh, with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Ricola is coming back. Lafferty is coming back. All these guys should be coming back. Um, so that is good to see. So Brian Ross is a guy, again, I don't think we're going to bring him back for that much. Again, I want to go into free agency with at least 10 mil. Um, if we were to sign him, we'd have just under 10 um, but I don't think we really need him um, Looking at our centers. Let me just do it this way around actually. Okay, so our centers We are one two three four if you get rid of Malkin um, McCann's our fourth liner, so that's okay um, left wingers we have one two mm, three Right wingers we have one two three so we're short on the wing defensemen uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is good. Um, we could probably get better on, on that. We're probably looking for a better goaltender this season as well, in all honesty. But let me go qualify all these guys that need to be qualified. And um, I think for the most part, we're heading into free agency just looking for new guys. Like Trauman, why did I not offer him a contract? We'll offer Trauman a contract. Yannick Weber, I would love to bring back, but not for that price. He's a guy that we can just easily replace for cheaper. Uh, we'll qualify these guys because that is what uh, RFAs are for. Um, we There's no use in really signing them. We'll just qualify them. So let me do that real quick. All right, so all these guys are now qualified, which is good. Again, Brian Ross, man, I don't, I don't plan on bringing him back. Um, we should probably just release him. He, he had a good run with this team. Um, again, I feel like we could get a better guy to replace him. And guys, look at it this way. We also have Malkin who we're looking to move where we can bring in some set pieces with him. Um, it'd be nice to try to win another year with him, but I think the time of the Geno era with the Pittsburgh Penguins has come up. Um, so, yeah, Zach Trauman has accepted. That is good to see. Just want to go over this one more time, see if we're fine with letting go who we're letting go. Um we haven't offered this guy a contract, so we might as well just offer him a contract. And everyone else is good. I will, I think we'll wait for the rookies that we just drafted. Maybe we'll sign this guy. And, and yeah, he was our first overall. We'll sign him as well. And the rest of the guys can just chill there. Goaltending wise, uh, we'll sign him. He, we drafted him. And, uh,. See how much these guys want. We'll offer them a contract too for, you know, the league min, which is fine with me. And we are good to go. All right. So that is the resign stage. It's going to see, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, free agency um, has to bring us. Um, it's going to be interesting. So here we go. First day of free agency. And who are we able to look for here? That's what that's the big thing I want to see. Who are the big names? John Klingberg, 29. That would be huge to our back end. We got Morgan Riley here as well, who is a year younger, uh, wants less as well. Seth Jones, who is a year younger than Riley. Uh, we got Braden Point out there. We got Brock Besser. There are some big names. Alex Ovechkin is hitting free agency, so he is no longer a Washington Capital. Uh, we got Dominic Kubalik. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see who we want to get. Um, the big names here, man. Mika Zabinajad is on the board. Colton Pareko. So a lot of good defensemen. And Colton Pareko looks like a valuable option if we want to go with a defenseman and get a forward. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see what we want to do. Um, he is 29. I wouldn't mind signing him for like a two-year deal, three-year deal um, at that price. So let's see what we really need. 
before we go crazy in free agency and try to sign whoever we want, right? So um, cap space, we have 10 mil available in cap. Um, so that could be a Colton Pareko and a decent forward if you want to look at it that way. Maybe we'll be able to keep Gino. Let's see. So looking at centers here, it'd be Crosby, Melk, and Granlin, um, Stahl. Okay. Left wing, we have two left wingers. So that's one, two, three, four. We could play Jankowski on the side. On, uh, we could play Tanev on the other side. So right wingers, we have one, two, three. So we can get a right winger and a defenseman possibly. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, good thinking. And we might be able to keep Gino unless we want to go out and get a better goaltender. Um, but I think it makes the most sense to go ahead and get Colton Pareko, um, you know, for 5.6. If you look at the other defensemen that are available right now, um, they want a lot. Like, John Klingberg wants 13.3. Charlie McAvoy wouldn't be too bad as he is 24, um, but he wants 8 mil. Um, Dustin Bufflin, 37 at an 88. Riley, I, I get that he wants 12 mil. We can't afford him. Hampus Lindholm is someone we can't afford, but I'd rather get a Colton Pareko. Um, so... Let's go with a Colton Pareko. He's 29. Uh, it'd be nice to sign him for t ooh, four years is a bit too much. I think three years would be good. We'll give him three years at 5.7. Um, I think that'll be a good contract. Um, worst case, we can always sign him off. So Colton Pareko would be cool to have him on the team. Um, Chris Letang would have to move down to the second line, which I think is fine. Um, we need a right winger, so who's available here? Uh, we got Alexander Radulov um, at a 91 overall. What kind of year did he have last year? Pretty good year last year. We could afford him if we really wanted to. We got Phil the Thrill. Uh, we got Bobby Ryan, Brian Rust. I think let's try and get Radulov here. Sign him for a one-year deal. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford both of these guys, but let's give Radulov what he wants. And let's see what happens, all right? So there's two players that could come to the Penguins. Hopefully they can come to the Penguins and we can get um, a decent-looking team this year. Um, so Radulov is not coming. He is going to the Florida Panthers. Um, very interesting to see there. So we need to go back into free agency and try to find a winger um, that will fit our team here. We got Joe Pavelski available, 37-year-old. Uh, uh, we got Nino Niederreiter is probably the next valuable option there at 29. Uh, Nachuskin, um, man, this is tough. Left wingers, you still got uh, Ovechkin on the board. You got Johnny Goudreau on the board. Uh, Jaden Schwartz, wouldn't be a bad signing actually. Um, he's an, He has an unknown role, uh, which is not the greatest. I guess he was injured last year. Um, don't know if I'm willing to take the risk on him there. Tanner Pearson, uh, would it be a bad contract, but 6.6 .6 is a little out of our range. Uh, we could go ahead and take the risk on Jaden Schwartz. I don't know if that's the play. Um, look in here. Uh, Chris Tierney, 28. He's an 86 overall. Uh, he could work on our team. Um, he could play the left side. We need a right winger in all honesty. Uh, Vincent Trocheck at 28 wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we can throw him on the side there. So maybe we go Trocheck or Tierney. Um, I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of thinking Tierney just because he has that elite exact. He's a second line forward, which is probably where he'd play. Let's try and get Chris Tierney locked up. For that cheap, I don't think you can go wrong. Let's do a two year. We have him until he's 30. We'll do 2.2 and see how that works out with him. Now, we're still banking on Colton Pareko accepting our offer, and that hurts. He is going to Arizona. So, we lost out on our top defenseman that we thought was going to come here. Let's see what defensemen are still available here. Justin Schultz. Oh, man. Okay, Dustin Bufflin's still there. Matthias Ekholm is still there. Oh, man. Wow, we really missed the ball here, eh, boys? Maybe we go Ekholm here. Yeah, let's go at home. He could play alongside Chris Letang. I don't want him for four years. Um, let's sign him for a one-year deal. We'll give him 5.7. Let's see if he accepts for that. Hopefully he does. And if not, then I guess we, <laughs> we're, we're, we're SOL, man. So hopefully we are able to sign him up. Chris Tierney has come into the Pittsburgh Penguins, so that is huge news for us. 
and these are trades that we just don't want and Matias at home has accepted our offer so the team looks pretty round uh pretty well rounded is what i meant to say there uh, which is nice um so looking at the players we brought in chris tierney is still at an 86 which is nice so he's going to be our third line center um, Granlin we can play on the wing which is probably going to be the play and then Eric Stahl we still have Jared McCann we still have looking at Matthias Ekholm um, we have the first pairing of Chris Letang and Matthias Ekholm which is going to be nice and it's probably going to be a John, Maria, John Marino and um, Joseph uh, pairing and then Pedersen and Hamannick so um, our defense is looking pretty pretty good if I have to say so we still do a 4 mil of cap space now we could be smart and just save it or we can see what's left in free agency, and I kind of like that second option. What goalies are available in free agency, actually, that we can maybe get for 4 mil? Marc-Andre Fleury would be interesting to bring back to the team. Henrik Lundqvist is out there. Devin Dubnik. Um, uh, oh, man. If we can sign him, I think I'd be pretty happy with it. Bring back Marc-Andre Fleury. Get all nostalgic here. Um, that would be sick. Casey DeSmith is now in free agency. He is now a starter. So I think... If that doesn't work out, I might bring back Casey to Smith and um, try to rehash what we had with him because now he is a starter. Um, and he had a pretty good year last year. Um, so maybe that's something we bring back if Marc-Andre Fleury isn't interested in coming back at that dollar amount. So let's see what happens here with Marc-Andre. Um, if he does come back, that'd be great. Um, if not, then all good. And Marc-Andre Fleury is heading back to, or not heading back, he is going to the Columbus Blue Jackets, which that one hurts a little bit. So, again, we still have 4 mil in cap space. I kind of want to see who's left. Goaltending-wise, doesn't look like there's much. Anton Forsberg, he's a starter. Um, he wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, potential, they don't know. He's 28, that's the thing. I mean, it, we need a backup anyway, so I don't think this would be a bad signing. Uh, we'll sign him for two years at, at 800 and see how that works out. Sean Day would be interesting to sign here. He's uh, 82 overall. He's a top four defenseman. Um, he is only 24. I think I'm going to try and sign him, actually. Let's sign him for three years. See if he'll take the um, the max we can give him. That's an, that would be an interesting signing. I think that's very cool that we waited this long to see that he was still available. And if he is, I think that's our free agency concluded. Um, so let's see if these guys accept our offers. Sean Day has accepted. That is huge. So it's going to be interesting to see how this, this guy progresses. Um, these are the guys we qualified RFAs. And we are waiting on the goaltender, uh, Forsberg, who we get which is great uh was extremely ex uh happy to accept your offer so um not that our goaltending situation is necessarily worked out um but it's looking better in my opinion so looking at our goaltending situation here we got tristan jari and we got forsberg here so um it's gonna be interesting to see what Forsberg can do. Everything's unknown with him. He is an 83 overall, so we'll put him in for some preseason games. Maybe we found our new starter. I don't know. I just I just know that I wasn't happy with Tristan Jari last year. And I don't think those two are gonna help. So maybe we get rid of depending on how Forsberg turns out, get rid of Jari and try and Malkin and try to get a better netminder. But that's something we do for next episode. Because this episode was filled with a lot. So, with that being said, we're going to end it here. Um, next video will be the start of uh, next season, pretty much. So, um, get ready for that, boys. Um, hopefully, you guys like the moves we made. I, I think our team is looking pretty good. Uh, we've got some steals in free agency. So, hopefully, those guys work out. But, yeah, guys. Next video, we start year three. And uh, we'll see how this Pittsburgh Penguins team does. And we'll see if Gino will be on the move or will continue to be a Pittsburgh Penguin.